，其實第廿三條咧就非常之直白嘅。佢想考你哋嘅呢，就係考你有冇睇題目嘅啫。呢、这個題目竟然係唔過一半人答啱，我都有啲詫異。題目就要我哋描述返椎間盤嘅功能，好多同學揀錯係揀埋第二個答案，包住嗰個脊髓。你話錯咩兩髓？係囉，咪就係錯囉！因為題目都唔係問緊你脊骨。佢問緊你椎間盤啫嘛，喂邊度係椎間盤啊？咁多位喺個脊骨之間啊嘛，係嚿軟骨嚟嘅啫嘛，個脊髓係喺個脊骨入面噶嘛，又點會喺個脊骨與脊骨之間咧？係咪？咁所以啦，第二句就已經係錯咗，所以答案咧已經係一同三。咁當然啦，呢、這個題目咧亦都考下我哋咧對於椎間盤嘅理解啦。椎間盤喺邊度㗎？就係、是、脊骨之間嘅軟骨啊嘛，係咪？咁今次咪就係避免到我哋每一節嘅脊骨啊，當我哋誒咬腰啊、向前向後嘅時候磨蝕咗佢咯。第二個特性啦，就係、是、椎間盤咧，佢係可以被壓縮嘅，因為佢少少彈性啊嘛。咁所以啦，就容許到咧，我哋咧成個脊骨咧係可以 bend 定啦，可以向前烏，可以向後昂啦。咁我唔使審啦，下次咪問埋你咯。喂，椎間盤仲有咩功能啊？我吸收震盪咯。即係你睇下兩常咁解完呢，你都會覺得嚇唔係啊嘛，咁樣都得四成八嘅人啱，都係嗰句睇錯題目慘過冇温書。四 question twenty three is a very straightforward question unless you misunderstood the question, you did not read the question carefully. We need to describe the function of the intervertebral disc, and there were only forty eight percent of students got it correct. Unbelievable, right? For the intervertebral disc, why did they not get the correct answer? Because they misunderstood the question asking vertebral column. Therefore, they chose the wrong answer. Protect and crosses the spinal cord, and actually, which is the absolutely wrong description for the intervertebral disc function. So from this. Diagram, you can see that the spinal cord is inside the vertebral column, but for the intervertebral disc, they are the cartilage in between the adjacent vertebra. These soft tissues it can reduce the friction between the vertebra and prevent wearing during movement. And the second concept, we need to recall the features of the intervertebral disc. They are compressible. Therefore, they allow bending of the vertebral column for us to do some warm up exercise, bending forward, bending backwards. Therefore, statement number three is also correct. So the answer will be B. And for the possible question variation, it may ask you the last function of the intervertebral disc, which is acting as the shock absorber.